what we're going to do is have a look at how a paper cartridge is made. What we need is our musket ball, a measured portion of gunpowder and a paper cartridge to keep it all in. The paper cartridge is made by using a form and simply rolling the paper around it. Closed at the end, it creates its own seal. Now I'm not going to make a live round, I'm not going to add the ball to this, but I am going to put powder in it because this would then make a blank cartridge. The idea of a blank cartridge is just so that you've got the powder in a measured form that you can fire your musket without discharging a ball. It's ideal for salutes or signalling, those, uh, those sorts of activities that were common in the army and the police in colonial times. The easiest way to get a measured portion of powder is to use a powder horn. The powder is in the body of the horn and there's a gauge on the end of the, on the nozzle of the powder horn separated by a spring catch. If I put my finger over the end of the nozzle, turn the horn upside down, open the spring catch and then close it, a measured portion of powder will have poured into the nozzle. I can then pour that straight into the cartridge cylinder and I know exactly how much powder is now in that tube and I'll close it and seal it with wax and I have a blank cartridge that I can use to in my musket as a signalling device.